Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to TFL Truck's very first tow-off. We've got two trucks going up and down the Ike Gauntlet together, pulling an identical load. In this video, we've got two identical trailers from our friends at TransWest that weigh just over 5,000 pounds. We're going to take them up the mountain and, of course, down the mountain and see how the trucks do, both pulling and stopping the load in a very raw and somewhat unedited way. We flipped the coin and Andre got the TRX and I got the Raptor for this hike. All right, Andre, you ready to figure out which of these trucks does a better job on the brake, on the holding the uh, load going down a mountain? Let's uh, pop out of the uh, tunnel together at, uh, what's the speed limit, 60? 50. 70, 80, Andre, come on, these are race trucks, 90. Damn, dude, I gotta hit the brakes. All right, I already had one brake application. Okay, actually, so did I. And the transmission downshifted really nicely a couple times. And now I'm at about 4,000 RPM going down. How about 4,500 in third gear? Well, you know, RAM doesn't tell me what gear I'm in. It's holding 55. So far, so good. I'm still at 54, and it's 55 accelerating slightly, but the Hemi is holding. Okay, that's two brake applications for me. It's a nail biter, dude. I keep gently speeding up. I'm back up to 55 again. Dude, I see you kind of racing away from me. You know, the, the Hemi's got a lot more displacement, which means it's, if you're using grade shifting, right, if you're using the engine to brake the, the load, you've got a lot more air you have to push through that big engine, which gives you a lot more resistance. But there is no replacement for displacement. You know, this truck is doing a really good job of giving me a lot of control. And even though I have more brake applications, never do I feel like I'm out of control or like this truck can't control this load. So, you know, this is really just a difference in fine tuning. It's not a difference in like control. Dude, you're so far away, I can barely see you. I just got a video shot of you. You're like in Kansas by now. All right, uh, it's leveling off, Andre, so I think uh, we've got our answer. Four brake applications. And I got one brake application, one. That's pretty darn impressive. Have we ever had a truck that's got none? I think only the big, heavy, heavy-duty diesels. Uh, we got zero brake applications um, in a Freightliner. Of course, Andre and I had to pull the trailers all the way up to the Eisenhower Tunnel. So before we go up the mountain, let's watch this little impromptu drag race we did when we got on I-70. All right, here we go. Let's do a little drag race in three, two, one, floor it. engine note, uh, but it was drowned out by the real engine note coming out the back of that uh, TRX. Yeah, that, 
that puts a smile on my face. You know, um, they're saying that the next Ford's gonna have a big V8, uh, and I think we know why. I mean, the next Ford Raptor. We're also doing something a little bit different in this video. We're figuring out what the pump actually says was a real MPG, and we filled both trucks up before we actually did the run. So at the end of this video, we're gonna let you know exactly what the trucks say and what the pump says. Yeah, and then we're gonna try to get next to each other and uh, see which one accelerates quicker. All right, here we go. You pull up next to me when you can, and then uh, we'll hit it together. The timer is on, dude. All right, slow down a little bit. Match my speed. There you are. I see ya. All right, in three, two, one, floor it. I gotta jump. I'm at 60, dude. That's it. All right, here we go up the I-Gauntlet, um, and uh, these trucks certainly have plenty of power, dude. Yeah, so I'm gonna obviously maintaining 60 miles an hour, which is the speed limit, and uh, this is the world's toughest towing test because of eight miles of seven percent grade and total elevation, maximum elevation is 11,158 feet above sea level. Yeah, we start at about 9,000, work our way up to about 12,000, uh, which is, you know, hard on engines because there isn't as much air density here, so you're losing significant power. Not that that matters when you've got, well, in your case, 702. In my case, 450. That's true, and when the mountain actually seriously bites, which should be very soon, I'm going to also um, measure my sound level inside the cab. Yeah, I would do that as well, but Ford decided to, uh, well, they decided to kind of pipe in engine note in here. So what I'm hearing is not necessarily what the engine's doing, but what Ford decides I should be hearing. And that way, really measuring that sound would be kind of weird. But you know, this truck so far, super comfortable. The suspension is great. It's actually relatively quiet. I can hear a little bit of supercharger whine. You know, it's funny, I can almost hear your truck from behind you. Uh, it's uh, that quick and that powerful. Uh, what I need to listen here is, Andre, that both of these trucks, you know, aren't going to get stressed uh, with this weight. Or even 3,000 pounds more because they just have so much more power uh, than you really need, even for the world's toughest towing test. Yeah, I agree, dude. The TRX is t uh, just tugging at the leash. The TRX wants to run. I, I feel the same way about the Raptor. It's just, you know, it's like, hey, give me more. Come on, give me a steeper hill. Give me higher elevations. Give me more weight. That was between 67 and 68 decibels, which is below 70, which is, you know, kind of our threshold and still very, very relaxed. I don't feel like the exhaust system is droning at all. It's it's okay, it's, it's relaxing. You know, the thing about the Raptor and I think the TRX is uh, they're just so comfortable in terms of their ride, in terms of their horsepower and ability and power uh, and hopefully stopping ability that it makes towing such a breeze. You know, I do have extra payload, so I could put a few more people in here and still tow. Yeah, well, you know, with my big sunroof and all the electronics and, you know, heated and cooled seats, I'm a little bit low on payload, uh, but uh, that's the price for comfort and convenience. So right now, my coolant temp is 213, oil temp 255, trans temp 212, I have like a gazillion gauges here. It's really awesome. So uh, let's see, my, my uh, engine oil temp is like, uh, it looks like it's like 230-ish. My trans temp is just over 200. And then uh, I've got a whole bunch of other manifold temperature change, transmission temperature 206, vacuum boost, voltage. Yeah, there's just a lot of interesting gauges here. It seems like my oil temp is higher than yours. But I think, uh, I've noticed this before, Hemi's usually run a little bit hotter on oil. All right, here we are, finishing up the uphill run of the Ike Gauntlet. Um, what's our time, dude? I just stopped the clock. 
at eight minutes. Just stop the stopwatch at eight minutes, perfect. Yep, okay, how about your fuel economy? I'm showing 4.7. Wow, that's crazy, dude. I'm showing a 5.0. No way, dude. Usually those EcoBoosts are kind of thirsty. You know what they say, you can have either Eco or Boost, but you can't have both, and maybe that's what we're proving here. The entire run was 22 miles, and at the end of the run, we went back to the pump and used a two-click method to find out what the pump says we got. Now, the Raptor got a total of 8.29 MPG, and the TRX, get this, got 8.31. Discuss in the comments below. Uh, and keep in mind, um, this is our very first tow-off. Let me know in the comments below if you like this way of doing the eye gauntlet where we have identical trailers, or if you like the more traditional way where we run the trucks one at a time. As always, this is Roman saying thanks for watching. Remember, check out tfltruck.com for news, views, and of course, independent and honest eye gauntlet reviews. See you guys next time. Ciao.